Governor Dr. Nazma Haftala calls for minimum utilization to our petroleum products to boost our economy and preserve our natural environment. Mahut Minister Siam Kumar condemns twin blast in the heart of the Imphal city, injuring one civilian yesterday, calls for strict measures. Not as participants at the 22nd National Youth Festival Cry Falls play at the ill treatment method out to them during the fest. And Governor Dr. Nasma Haftala today formally commences uses of radio diagnosis machines gifted by Samsung to Regional Institute of Medical Sciences. Hello and welcome to Impact News to Watching Primetime English News. I'm Kangusam Shalira with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Governor of Manipur Dr. Nasma Haftala asserted that minimum utilization of petroleum and natural gas will not only boost a country's economy but also help in preserving a natural environment. She was speaking as chief guest at the launch of the nationwide month-long campaign Saksham 2018 organized by public sector oil and gas companies in the state with Petroleum Conservation Research Association PCRA under the aegis of Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas at the Imperial Hall Classic Grant today. Dr. Nasma Haftala mentioned that our country, which is taking a fast-paced lift into development, is still 80% dependent on countries outside for petroleum products to meet the requirements of its ever-increasing population. She asserted that excessive use of petroleum products adversely affects the economy, pollutes the environment and also leads to global warming. The governor said that conservation of petroleum products by using another means is need of the hour. She called for collective efforts in utilizing solar energy, which is evidently available in nature, as an alternative energy resource to promote healthy living and to preserve the beauty of the nature. As part of today's program, Governor Dr. Nasma Haftala administered Saksham 2018 Pledge and Flag of a Walk Rally, which was participated by students from different schools of the state. Governor Dr. Nasma Haftala also felicitated the students who topped in the district level quiz competition held last year in connection with Section 2017 at the event. Messages delivered by Union Minister Petroleum and Natural Gas Demendra Pradhan in connection with the day held across the country was also read out at the event. Principal Secretary of Textile, Commerce and Industry, IAS, P. Vaifei, Commissioner of CAF and PD, IAS, K. Radha Kumar, and State Level Coordinator, S.I. Singh, were among those present at the event. Which depends on import. Thus, the need of the hour is to conserve petroleum products to the maximum extent by way of optimum use, use of alternate source of fuel, and by putting into practice every possible fuel saving method, be it in transport or domestic or other resources. In a few words, oil and gas conservation means they are better and more efficient use with regard to the economic, social and environmental costs resulting in higher efficiency, minimization of wasteful practices and protection of the environment. Just after two consecutive blasts last evening, amid tight security measures ahead of the Republic Day, another bomb was found in the heart of the Imphal city this morning. It may be mentioned that a Chinese hand grenade exploded around 6 p.m. at M sector as it sent to Governor Bunglo and five minutes later another powerful IED exploded near the road adjoining the world of the Jonestown Higher Secondary School just 20 meters away from the sector last evening. A worker of Municipal Corporation worker was injured in the blast and was rushed to Ras Medicity. The hand grenade was found early this morning inside a sector near a security post. The state bomb disposal team have however safely disposed the bomb around 8.30 this morning. Mahut Minister Tanojim Sham Kumar condemned the twin blast that occurred yesterday near M sector in the heart of the Imphal city, injuring a women sweeper of the Imphal Municipal Corporation IMC. 
Shyam Kumar said additional closed-circuit TV cameras working 24-7 will be installed in and around Imphal City by the Mahud Department in consultation with the Chief Minister to ensure the safety of the public. The Mahud Minister said it is unfortunate that the blast took place at the time to when the Mahud Department and IMC are wholeheartedly working to make the city clean. Addressing media person at his quarter in Kangla Pat, Minister Shyam Kumar said planting and exploding the bomb at a public place is a cowardly act. Urging those responsible to come forward for clarification, the minister made an appeal to not to repeat such act in the future, which is detrimental in the development of the state. He also called the attention of the department concerned to arrest and punish the culprits involved. Shyam Kumar said detailed reports about the incident have been obtained from the officer in charge in Falk City Police and instructions were given for mass combing operation to be conducted in and around the Infalk City. Minister Taunajim Shyam Kumar appealed the public for their cooperation. Bom plan to pokai hamba. Si mami si kerana belum no, kerana belum organisasi no. Yang matu matu siang toro. Mari lagi lagi. Apa mami dah tiak toro? Engkau tu pamong sih engkau tiak toro biro. Ayat matu welcome tau. Mari lagi tapa. Kau mungkin cerita tanjari pak. Mami pur jati kudi maki. Ipal mami mami bersih tak. Bom plan tau tu nak. Kau suhal lak pak. Lepas itu tuhan pak. Masih kuat lagi pang tapa. Ma pama masih kang tapa. Taksi kasih lagi tapa. Adun pak. Zaman masih kang tapa. Adun imong imong sih mui kene. Adun hari mui sih ngasih. Gaya macam mana anjing mahu takda? Lagi tu gaya macam anjing makhluk lagi tu sabda orang kau anjing matu ni na. Muda akan masih rakpi kene. Siom pak. Plan tahu ribu mewah sih ngasih, kau ada lagi pang dapat, mesti mahu mesti ambang. Aduh, mewah ni hing benda, malay belum dapat mewah ni. Aduh, na ini dia kita pelita we. Aduh, masih mahu thabak sih ngasih matung dah. Amun sah sah nama teruk ano, teruk pusu kanaroi. Aduh, kau jiu jiu, perasaan mian dah pelita we matu di. Impal manung sih mewah sih dah. Siu mahu thabak thabak teruk perina. Siti si bo, siu mahu kudung thibat thok dana huna benda. Polis tu bayi mesin dah kau siti cek teruk benda. Perasaan mianu corporation PBU. Millwald Minister Taunajum Shyam Kumar visited IMC worker Yen Sengbam Sobita, 50 years wife of Y Ingo, who was injured in yesterday's bomb blast and handed over a monetary aid of 50,000 rupees. Shyam Kumar reiterated and assured that all the medical expenses incurred during the treatment of Y Sobita will be borne by the Mahu Department. Yen Sengbam Sobita was admitted to Ras Medicity in North AOC after she was injured in the bomb blast that occurred last evening. Sobita sustained injuries on her left leg and neck. CAF and PD Minister Karam Shyam also gave financial assistance to the Sobita. Notice volunteers who participated in the 22nd Five Days National Youth Festival at Gautam Buddha University, Gautam Buddha Nagar, Greater Noida from January 12 to 16, stormed the university on the closing day today, crying foul play at the ill treatment method out to participants from the North East States. The festival was organized by the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sport in collaboration with the state government of Uttar Pradesh. Notice participants were allegedly shown indifference and mistreated by the organizers at the festival and provided them with inadequate facilities during their stay. According to Impact News Source, the participants from North East States were made to sleep on corridors. Manipuri women players who backed the first position in the volleyball event was allegedly given first runners up prize. When a complaint was made, one district sport officer allegedly responded in an ill manner using derogative language. Later, the participants from Assam, Manipur, and Nagaland collectively raised slogans against the racist attitude of the authority. <laughs> ที่เป็นตัวอันตรายที่ที่เป็นตัวอันตรายที่ที่เป็นตัวอันตรายที่ที่เป็นตัวอันตรายที่ที่เป็นตัวอันตรายที่ที่เป็นตัวอันตราย
Taking part at the sit in wife of late Seram Basanta, Seram Ongbi, Sakhenbi highlighted her plights and said that when her husband was alive, they used to sell ice creams for their livelihood. She urged the government to give a befitted punishment to the culprits involved in the killing of her husband. Member of the GAC, Leima said an agreement was reached a few months ago between the GAC and Chief Minister Nong Thamam Birent, MLA of Tanga constituency T. Robindro, Chief Secretary Home Suresh Babu, Babu and gave the assurance that financial assistance will be extended to the victim's family. However, no steps are taken so far. The GAC warned of boycotting MLA of Tanga constituency T. Robindo from entering Moirang Kuno Hogram Path if a positive response as to why the culprit are not yet named is not given by January 20. Eriba seram basenta na lay kita mamatungda ikoy ke lokal le mele galoi na se minister unadu na mana siri ba misi siki matangda pangbaya ba grand kerap pangna na bagi damak ikoy ke mari lay na bawat horedi se minister ki banglo makda da kaukshil lagay ikoy lokal le mele mamangda thambi ki bo apam loi na na se minister na lokal le mele da sinabi rakibat data dung asih pawa magi kendra ki praja magi damak lopam topa data lobi dray lokal le mele na mar Aduh, ngasi pahu betul su, aku juga lokal le melegi side tegi loi nana, gaw mengi side tegi kari gumbu, hantu amta lagi terbani na. Di tangkun pahu bagi manung dah lokal le melegi nak kari gumba, pangbaya apa, kudung caba magi, mung manung na, ni dah betara gadi. Aku juga lokal le melegi, tong berm Robin Rosing. Tangga kendera tegi, tangga kendera gimana manung cerna lagi, bahagian 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 si tegi matang, kau tu na boy kotor. People block Sayang Road today against the non-repair of the road which has been in a deplorable condition for a long time. Furious people around Kwake Tilt and Sayang Road blocked the road that lies between Sagolbant and Pasway constituency. Speaking to media person, President of Lamzing Seba Mayra Pai Bilubt, Sagolbant Sayang Road, Lystrom Sorozini said, Sayang Road is an important road commuted every day by students and many people. She said the indifference of the minister and MLA concerned led to the condition of the low road and is now an accident prone area. Governor Nasma A. Heftla formally commenced uses of distilled radiography and high-end ultrasonography machines donated by Samsung Company to the Department of Radio Diagnosis and Regional Institute of Medical Sciences dreams today. Governor Nasma Heftla urged the representatives of the department-related Parliamentary Standing Committee on Health and Family Welfare present at the event to look into ways to improve the health sector in Manipur. Speaking at the event, Dr. Nasma Heftla asserted that RIMS is a regional institute taking an active role in medical treatment not only in the state but in the entire Northeast. The institute has produced 3,200 doctors and 1,000 specialists so far. She said that good infrastructure and equipments are a must for doing a research work and so it is necessary to upgrade the standard of equipments and machines with time. The governor thanks Samsung Electronics Private Limited for ensuring quality health care to the people by donating the machines. She also urged the people of the state to come forward and help the needy people. Convener of Parliament is Parliamentary Standing Committee on Health and Family Welfare, Dr. Manos Razoria said, apart from dreams, strict consideration is also given for all other hospitals and health centers in the state. He said if DREAMS develop its infrastructure, the government will try to increase its undergraduate intake capacity from its current 100 seats. Governor Nasma and representatives of the Parliamentary Standing Committee inspected the newly installed machines on the occasion. Blue cards and calendars for senior citizens in the OPD of the institute were also released at the inaugurant event. It is very necessary that you should get more attention from Ministry of Health, Donor Ministry and any other source that we can have to upgrade the standard of equipment. We don't need to upgrade the standard of the teachers and faculty. They are very good. They are very dedicated. I am sure when he goes back and submits his report to the parliament personally, Manipur and the backwardness of the people and the poverty which we have, that a special care as far as the health services are concerned. 
Directorate of Instruction, Central Agricultural University, CAU Infault organized the fourth student advisory council meeting 2017-18 at the conference hall of CAU in December today. Speaking at the event, Vice Chancellor of CAU and Chief Patron of Student Advisory Council, Professor M. Premzit said it is an honor to be the Vice Chancellor of a prestigious university in the Northeast. He said the students of the university are well disciplined and diligent. Premzit said seven national recognition awards the university got in 2017 are the fruits of the determination and hard work of the students and staff of the university. He said students of the university have also received fellowship under the Old India Junior Research Fellow and have become Agricultural Research Scientist of India. The Vice Chancellor expressed happiness that students who pass out from the university are able to employ people with their first start of instead of searching for jobs. It may be mentioned that the third Student Advisory Council meeting was held at College of Horticulture. Pasigurt in Arunachal Pradesh, which was attended by seven colleges in Northeast, but this year's council meeting is attended by students from 13 colleges after six new colleges were established in the Northeast, including Nagaland. Director of Instruction, CAU, Professor CA, Srinivasa Murti, Member Secretary of Students Advisory Council, Professor PH Ranjit, Registrar of CAU, Professor M. Momocha, and staff of the university were also present at the event. So with the support of all directors, students, registrar, controller, all the faculty members, staff, even students, we are working very hard. That is why now, last year in 2017, the university we received about seven awards, recognition, recognition. There is national recognition or awards. And our students, as you know, they are performing very well in all India level. That is in 2012, 14, and 16, the second position in the country based on the performance of undergraduate students in All India Junior Research Fellowship Examination. So that is the big achievement. Manipur State Power Distribution Company Limited in a press list informed that area from Singzame Chongtam Lekai to Kawa Asem Lekai under 11 KB line Singzame feeder will be shut down on January 17 from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. for AB cabling and line maintenance work at Waikom Lekai. It's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on the controversies over the suspicious death of 21 years old Jingtam Victoria alias Baby Cha from Tangalawai. Kang Suibi Mapal in Bisnupu District. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English News. Chingtam Victoria alias Baby Cha, 21 years from Tangalawai Kang Suibi Mapal in Bisnupu District, was found hanging in a suspicious circumstances on January 14, around 5.30 in the evening. Let Ching Tam Victoria was born to Let Ching Tam Ning Tam and Let Ching Tam Ongbi Jamila from Kojuman Tabi in Kumbi constituency. Victoria was residing with her uncle Lairenjam Birent and aunt Lairenjam Ongbi Leisabi, alias Ibm Cha at Tangalawai Kangshoi Mapalt after her parents died. Addressing media person at Manipur Press Club, Victoria's big, un big aunt Kangebam Ongbi Manihal said, Victoria's aunt and uncle had already conducted her last funeral rites before a post-mortem could be conducted to ascertain the exact cause of her death. When approached to conduct the post-mortem before the funeral, they allegedly refused, citing some excuses. When Kabul police station was approached for the same, the police allegedly asked to come to an understanding first among the family members. Expressing discontentment, Manila Money Halt expressed that Victoria died in a very suspicious manner and appealed for justice and truth behind the incident. Na angang si misi si adan si bani na kari mam dagi angang si si bano hai bese angang si kari uto min hanan si dira kari na si bano hai bese karamay na tawon si bano tawu yam bese mau kan yam bese hajik matam si kan pata bani na. Mau izat sokpa tabak tau bodegi mana nungai tapi dia ikai dulu tu nene siibra, nanti kan min hatu oga yang siibra masa amten si dah jadi, uho oga kangho oga nanti min, madu mawong si kangning ba, angang si si min mawong si. Mana lagi kita tu, nang nuh si pot sama change si tau dan nang nuh tau nombor dia kacau kari, aman nuh tau nombor dia kai dari magi uru su, magi mami si si pasade, aku jadi nang nuh payrak de, jadi semai tauwi. 
Isuje semai tau inang, nasuje semai tau de, mangak nai, adu tau i, aang aang aau berlay, si tau jo hai de. Socialist Student Union of Manipur (SSU) and gave assistance to the home children homed in Terra Bazaar today. The union, led by its working president Sorai Jams Yaima, distributed food and stationary items to the children at the children home. Addressing media persons, Sorai Jams Yaima said the assistance were offered as part of the union's campaign for children's rights in the state. He also said the union will start inspecting children homes in the state to ensure proper functioning of the homes. Awat patenan selalu bermain pusing sedih sedah. Sotah hor bah, kanal lagi jadra bah. Atur kerja tu, pasal na PB dri bah. Maya am sing sedih sedah ikhwan. Mieng sengsir aga. Akut pada lagi tua, tuong pada lagi tuan bah. Tua lebih maya am sing sedih kanano. Kadai degi no. Makoi sing sedih sedah ikhwan. Kamdo na mieng sang bayar aga degi. Makoi degi kamdo na ikhwan. Lain bah sing sedih sedah. Atur kerja tu, pasal na PB sing sedih sedah. Sotah hor bah, kanal lagi jadra bah. Atur kerja tu, pasal na PB dri bah. Maya am sing sedih sedah ikhwan. Mieng sengsir aga. Akut pada lagi tua, tuong pada lagi tuan bah. Tua lebih maya am sing sedih sedah. Atur kerja tu, pasal na PB dri bah. Maya am Hujan hujan kerajaan ini, mesti NGO sing sing nak cakap riba, aku ini Central Home sing sing, kemudian nak cakap riba ke, makoi sing sing, kemain tau dina, makoi sing sing kita makta aku ini, pasal nak cakap riba, nak terus cakap riba, Central Home kita mada aku ini, makoi nak kari tau riba ke, hai bosnya, aku ini akan bumi yang sengsir lagi ni. Lembapu Pemu Hindro High School in Thobal Atokpum celebrated its foundation day yesterday. Meritorious students of the school were also felicitated at the event. MLA of Kangabo Constituency, Okram Surja Kumar, Councillor of Ward No. 6, Taubal Municipal Council, KH Biswazit and Principal of Taubal College, Okram Chauba, were among those present at the event. Floral tributes were paid to the portraits of the deceased who contributed in establishing the school. On the other hand, new public higher secondary school in Kangabok also celebrated its 20th Foundation Day yesterday. Meritorious students of the school were also felicitated on the occasion. <laughs> Apunba Irepaki Mahiroi Sinpank Lopt aims appeal drive teachers in the state to wear fanek as uniform from this year. Aims also urge not to hold any festivities in the state as COSIM, BOSIM and CBSE examination are drawing near. Addressing media person at Kwakaitel Girls High School, President of AIMS, Rajas Yumnamt opined that wearing sari by a teacher can create a bad impression to the students as it is revealing and warned of negative consequences if any institute violates the same. He also called on the people of the state not to hold Tabal Chongba for more than five days during the Yaosang festival. Jawar Nabu Vidalia Impal East, Impal West, Taubalna, Hokiba, Sahi Amani Sida, Hana Fanek Selamba, Tok Tok Laga, Salwar Set Kibagi, Kong Tanga Sibu, Hantokadabani, NCERT, Social Science, Dam Livado, Manipurgi, Jen Bim, Oitaragasu, Iram the Manipur, Sida, Lajariba, Mahiru, Shingi, the Makta Kalaga, Manipurgi, History, Geography, Bolkin Science, and Economic Social Science, Hyper Subject City, Class. Six to nine for the Manipur board the social science tamu kita bani kari gumba yaksan nomit mengani lagi hena thaban cungam betar kadi madu tu scene ribat sounds lights music band gigi nak singa madu tu tholak pa apa apa tu ke dah tu kudi mak sounds light music band gigi nak singa pubi kita bani hai bersih emsen loi silap kudat thamzari. Nine days festival of dance drama kick off at public theater in Nambon Chimbang today. The festival is jointly organized by Jawaharlal Nehru, Manipur Dance Academy, Infalt, and Public Theater Artists Association for using Nambol. The festival was once launched by former Unit Minister T.H. Chauba. Speaking at the event, Vice Chairman of Jawaharlal Nehru Manipur Dance Academy, Professor H. Tombi asserted that our time immemorial dances and song popularizes the state in the world. He mentioned that we would understand our origins when we understand our songs and dances. Many dignitaries and people were present at the launch of the dance festival. Manipur Home Guard Employees Welfare Association in a press release informed that the association has submitted a memorandum to Prime Minister Narendra Modi on December 14 last year in regards to increment of Home Guard employees' duty allowance following the 
following the indifference shown by the state government to their continued request. Six Assam Rifles of Nine Sector Assam Rifles under the aegis of the IGAR South conducted a security meet at Kanchipur Company Operating Base in Fault West District yesterday. 22 representatives including Pradhans, Mayrapai Bees, Watt members and members from various youth clubs of the area attended the meet which discussed issues of safety and security in the area, especially in connection with the upcoming Republic Day. The company commander also briefed regarding the IED traits and maintenance of peace and harmony. Pradhans, Mayrapai Bees, Watt members and members of the youth clubs assured to extend their support for the same. Manipur Muslim Welfare Organization MMWO Irong's Jaisaba branch in a press release informed that use and sales of illicit drugs is in banned in and around Irong Jaisaba. The organization also appealed Mayang Infal Police Station to assist with the same. All Manipur Muslim Students Organization AMMSO elect, elected SARS. Saha Nawaz from Kiamge as its president for the period of 2018 to 2020. Speaking to media person at Manipur Press Club, former president of AMMSO, Farid Nongzai Mayum said, the appointment was made after members of Manipur Muslim Student Organization and the representatives of other Muslim organizations held a meeting at a conference hall of Manipur Wab Boat in Hatta. He said altogether 14 office bearers, including Rojoa Dint and Muhammad Firoz Khan, alias Inau, as the vice president, and Pusam Javed Ahmed as general secretary, were elected. Mioi Mangana Saba, advisor committee Yamasu, Kale, High River, advisor committee Yamadi, Opisphere Tramari Sina, Amso. Headquarter in Palgi, Office Fair Amadi, the Pajerki, Taupunaba, Masigi Election Committee, Marishobe Election Committee, Gi, Arona, Chairman Gayaba, Lojaraga, Lau Tokshari. I'm Sona Maruena, Education Sector, the Manipur de Lady Mate Pangan Singi, Mahiro Sang Singbu, Awang Mataki, Mahima Singi Kanon, Paganan of Honanaba, Pre Person Katohre, Nasisu, I'm Sona. IT person, Mate Pangan Singi, Mahiro Singda, Mahima Singi Kanon, Paganaba, Tabu. Togani loin and a twenty per cena, manipulate by minority, Mete Pangan Singi, Ipong Pong, Emo Visiti Pamena, and a lady, Emo Visiti Pamena, Hakayamat Iba Kayasi, Hire by twenty per cena, Sida, Tazagani. Southeast Asia Cultural Organization, SICO, has greeted the people of all religions on the occasion of World Religion Day on January 18. The organization in a press release wished that the day brings peace, prosperity, and harmony among the believers of all faiths. And now in sports. The third Manipur State with Day Women's Polo Tournament will kick off tomorrow at Mapal Kang Jebong. Six women polo team, including one team from each from Australia, Kenya, USA, and two Manipur polo teams will take part in the tournament organized jointly organized by Manipur Tourism Department and All Manipur Polo Association. Addressing media person in connection with the tournament at Hotel Classic, North AOC Principal Secretary of Manipur Tourism Department P.K. Singh said the tournament will be held in international format for the first time this year. He said that the main objective of the tournament is to encourage women to play polo and also to make Manipur a center for women's polo. P.K. mentioned that the profit from the tournament will be used to protect and promote Manipuri pony which is regarded as an endangered species. President of All Manipur Polo Association K. Sarachandra, Managing Trustee Hunter, Somi Roy and players and captains of polo team taking part in the tournament were present on the occasion. The final match of the tournament will be played on January 21 on Manipur State with Day. People know Manipur as the land of women's polo. We have told it's an acknowledged fact that polo originated from the state. We have a duty towards the Manipuri pony as well because whatever, as I mentioned in the press conference, whatever proceeds we get out of this, we will devote it to the development and the care of the Manipuri pony. As I proudly mentioned that in the field of uh, women's polo, two-thirds of the players in India are from Manipur. So This speaks volumes about the women in Manipur and uh, that's all the more reason why Manipur Tourism wants to promote this game of women's polo. Blue Hawk Kurai and Al Amin Long team won the 16th and the 17th league matches respectively in the first Haibok T20 cricket tournament today, organized by Langthabal Sporting Club under the aegis of Manipur Cricket Association. 
In the 16th league match of the tournament played today at Langtabal Public Ground, Blue Hawk Rai beat Krau Kamnan Kaitel by 64 runs. Rahul Mazumdar from the winning team was awarded man of the match. In the 17th league match of the tournament, Alt Almind Lilong defeated PCC Mayai Koibi by 58 runs. All Almind Lilong team's old round player as Mazibur was awarded with a man of the match. 21 cricket teams are taking part in the T20 cricket tournament. Two leagues matches will be played tomorrow. IGL FC and East Bengal were drawn nil in an I League match at Rajiv Gandhi Stadium, IGL, this afternoon. Well, in another I League match, Indian Arrows will meet Naroka FC at Tilak Maiden Goa tonight at 8. In a league match played yesterday at EMS Corporation Stadium, Corey Court, Churchin Brothers beat Kerala Gokulam 3 2. For Churchin Brothers, Ongba Kulu Nenna netted two goals in the 15th and 74th minutes of the match and Mecca Coffee netted one goal in the 90 plus two minutes of the match. While for Kerala Gokulam, Daniel Astley Odo netted one goal in the 59th and Emmanuel Jigozi netted the another goal in the 70th minutes of the match. All Bisnupur District Working Journalist Unions felicitated Bisnupur correspondent of Naharol Thaudang, who drawn to Roni Bala, who backed golf in 50 kg category kickboxing of 2nd Annual National Martial Art Games and Festival 2018, and coach Dr. Huidrom Roman, who works as Bisnupur correspondent of the Infal Free Press at Nacho. The festival was held at Bogeshwar. Pukamani Indoor Stadium, Guwahati, from December 27 to 29, jointly organized by Global International Martial Arts Federation and Bichal Martial Arts Academy. The duo were presented with a cash price of 5,000 rupees and a Lengyan fee each. Speaking on the occasion, President of Old Bishnupur District Working Journalist Union, Y. Samananda said it is commendable that despite being journalists, they also made time to be successful sport persons. Several members of the union attended the event. Bisimbudisiki, a coin known as Siemlava, Abzugi, a coy member, a coy palmi, a coy taraga, Marina, Wag, Tauduna, a coy sa, a coy sa, sagi silva, palmi money, I'm sitting about Tanzasida, a coy yamna, Kulan sans, that yamna, a coy tanza, I do a ganda extra wena, Sapitana, I give Maruf, when Doctor Romena, Koyam, Suma, a canava, a war of Hangpa, Lena, I give Oidele Bibi, I give Senopina, a Ronibulana, a yamna. Hagi Nupi Maktagi Matanda Suyaga Pong Mimo Oina Lay 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 Zaraga. Haidoga mana extra on a tabak to see Koi the Mukadi. Koi the Sister Liba, Hui Pong Missing Gitong Suyam Nas over my Papa Mani and Logzi. Tawal District Amata Bossing Association, family members and friends accorded a warm welcome to N Baby Rosie Sana Chanu, who bagged a gold medal, and Samananda Chanu, who bagged a silver medal at the seventh national Nation International Boxing Tournament in Serbia as they arrived at Infal International Airport today. Baby Rosie Sana bagged the gold medal in 52 kg category and Samana Sanamacha in 70 kg category of the tournament held at Sombor, Serbia from January 9 to 15. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Governor Dr. Nazma Haftala calls for minimum utilization to our petroleum products to boost our economy and preserve our natural environment. Mahoti Minister Shyam Kumar condemns twin blasts in the heart of the Infal city, enduring one civilian yesterday, calls for strict measures. Notice participants at the 22nd National Youth Festival cry foul play as the ill treatment method out to them during the fest. And Governor Dr. Nasma have plot to the formally commences uses of radio diagnosis machines gifted by Samson to Regional Institute of Medical Sciences. <laughs> 